our guys has clocked up 20 hours on his 18 model 250 EXC. It's not the TPI, the carburetor model will still be available for a while in some countries like Australia. So we thought this was a good chance to chat about TPI versus carburetors, then do a review on this pump gun. TPI, it's short for Transfer Port Injection, it's KDM's response to increasingly tough emission laws. It is often promoted as the latest and greatest innovation for two strokes, but in reality, it's being forced on manufacturers by demands for less emissions. So we think it's a mixed bag of good and not so good features. Yes, TPI is better for the environment, way less smoke and better fuel economy. Performance? The more honest dirt bike reviews say it's not a startling difference. Some riders may not even pick the difference. But generally the reports are the bikes run a bit better at low revs, less snappy, the power is a bit more linear. Of course, there's no jetting required and the system automatically adjusts if you do big altitude changes. TPI is a complex system, but the good news is it doesn't make top end rebuilds any harder. Good news for the home mechanic. Not so good news, the fuel pump, oil pump and sensor add a whopping three kilograms to the bike. In Australia, it also adds a whopping $1,000 to the price. The fuel pump knocks a litre off the fuel tank capacity, although that should be offset by the better fuel economy. And of course, the added complexity means more things that can go wrong and harder to fix than a carburetor when on the trail. So how reliable is TPI? Well, it wasn't that good in the first year. There were oil tanks splitting, many reported issues with starting, idling, running too lean. But it seems most of this has been resolved now and reliability is looking pretty good. There are certainly a lot of happy TPI riders out there. If you live in a country where you can choose between TPI or the carburetor models, you may need to test ride both to see which you would prefer.